group is okay. By myself, it's not okay.
behalf of the graduating class of 2022, I would like to welcome everyone to this evening's ceremony. At this point, I will pause for a brief moment of reflection. Please rise for the playing of our national anthem, performed by Chestnut Ridge High School Band, and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. Gentlemen, please remove your caps. to welcome the challenges and changes ahead of us. 
We might just be surprised at what they bring. Thank you. Next, we will hear from Ian Milius. Thank you, Rihanna. I am so thrilled to be before my friends today, giving some of the final remarks that we will hear together. We have come to the end of our time together. The last 13 years were too little time to spend with such commendable people. I have many more acquaintances than enemies here today, and even more friends. We have experienced things that previous generations and future generations will not. We are, we are the hope for our world, hope for change, hope for success, and hope for acceptance. I implore you to change, succeed, and accept. Our time of innocence and bliss has passed. It's time for us to move on from the walls of Chestnut Ridge. We have formed fantastic memories during our time here. They will forever define the way we, re we remember each other. These memories will live long in our minds and even longer in our hearts. But let this be a warning. We are not high schoolers any longer. If you do not grow or strive for more, your heart will forever be lost in high school. The individuals you see beside you are capable of great things. Some will do not so good things. Some will do brilliant things. But we are all capable of being great. If you close off what pushes you forward and conceal yourself in content, you will fall short of your greatness. I expect great things from you. The insightful author J.R.R. Tolkien said, the wide world is all about you. You can fence yourselves in, but you cannot forever fence it out. The outside world is inevitable and anything but comfortable. Comfort is stagnant. Let the wide, diverse world into your life. Its hard lessons will be a wind under your wings. Let it bear you to where the sun sails and the moon walks. Thank you. I'd like to introduce our next speaker, Jonah Hillegas. Thank you, Mr. Melius. It is my pleasure to welcome students, families, friends, faculty, and administration to this evening's graduation ceremony. Every one of you has made an impact on the graduates who sit here tonight, and for that we are grateful. This evening, I'm going to speak about the importance of time. I've been granted approximately two minutes of your time to either grab your attention or lull you to sleep. I will begin with the definition of time. Time is defined as the continued progress of existence and events in the past, present, and future regarded as a whole. We graduates come here tonight to reminisce about our last 13 years at Chestnut Ridge, relish the present moment, and look forward to the future. Tonight, I think it is important that we first look back on the irreplaceable memories we have created at Chestnut Ridge. Friday night football games will always hold a special place in my heart, and the memories made on that field with my brothers will never be forgotten. Any memory involving our rowdy student section at volleyball and basketball games comes in at a close second. Mr. Lazar and Mr. Clevenger may not always have appreciated our behavior, but we always had a good time. I know these memories are not shared by all of you here, but I would ask that you reflect back on the lasting memories that Chestnut Ridge has left you with. Now, speaking of the future, my dad said this to me not too long ago, and it's really stuck with me. He asked me what the President of the United States, Elon Musk, and I all have in common. Of course I didn't know what I had in common with the President of the United States, nor the CEO of Tesla, but he said that every one of us has the same amount of time in a day. This struck me as being an extremely powerful idea that everyone has the same amount of time in a day to accomplish something. If they choose, they can squander it or they can make good use of it. Every person present here today has the opportunity to do great things every day. We have the time. The only other ingredient for success we need is a dedication and effort required. So, with all of us going out into our various paths in life, I want to ask you all to approach your life differently, to really think about your time and how you spend it to take risks, to dare to make mistakes, because as the great Teddy Roosevelt once said, far better it is to dare mighty things, to win glorious triumphs, even though checked by failure, 
than to rank with those poor spirits who neither enjoy nor suffer much, because they live in a great twilight that knows not victory nor defeat. I challenge each of us here tonight to learn from mistakes we made and move on from them. Relish the accomplishments we have had and build on them. Be thankful for the memories that were forged in the school with one another. To take in this moment right in time, right here, right now, and savor it. And in your future, I challenge you to let your time affect someone else's positively. Thank you. Caitlin Herman will speak next. Thank you, Jonah. Change can be difficult, but it's how we grow. It can be the hardest thing to realize you can't hold on to something forever. Sometimes you have to let it go. But of the things you let go, you'd be surprised what makes its way back to you. Just like Animan and Matt Riley said, embracing change in our lives will open a world of opportunities. As graduating seniors, we've gotten used to 13 years of the same places, faces, and routines. Although our plans after high school may vary, we all share the uniting factor of change. By definition, change describes making someone or something different. Change can also describe our emotional or mental development. It's been an incredible privilege to watch as we all grew into the people we are today through all of our life experiences, <laughs> excuse me, both good and bad. Even while staying in the same environment, we've all changed an incredible amount, and our bad grades and broken friendships are a crucial part of making us who we are. Although it is tempting to linger on flunk tests, veteran home games, and college rejection letters of the past, it does no good to dwell on them. Instead, we should be ready to use our mistakes to act in the present. These failures have made us stronger, wiser, and more capable of conquering our future. That failed test may have crushed us, but the next time we face a similar circumstance, we will know how to prepare, practice, and most importantly, not procrastinate. Those unsuccessful friendships have shown us how to be better at creating the bonds so that our next relationship will be stronger, healthier, and more sustaining. The disappointments we face on the sports field taught us that sometimes we do lose, and we can't let that deter us from fighting our hardest in the next game. Being denied our dream college may have left us broken hearted, but in the end, the college we least expected might be the best fit. Although we are unable to alter our past or anticipate the future, our current circumstances are able to be shaped. By focusing on the now, we give ourselves the ability to shape and create our ideal future with the people we love. Thank you. We will now hear from our next speaker, Aubrey Hetherington. Thank you, Caitlin. Throughout the progress of this year, We've experienced changes that are defining the rest of our lives. We have grown into adults, a patiently awaited this day, and in just a little bit longer, we will no longer be students of Chestnut Ridge. It seems as if a small piece of paper we earn determines the end of our childhoods. Some of us were prepared for this and have been counting down the days for months. Others are dreading the moment they walk in front of this podium because there is no turning back now. No matter how you feel regarding tonight, this is just another change and challenge we face. Naturally, many people resist change due to the risks and losses that could occur, but sometimes change is thrust upon us without choice. At Chestnut Ridge, we have been put through the ringer. We have faced bullies, tragedies, and new experiences, and conquered these all. Some minds go to the recent pandemic, but mine goes to our dear classmate, Connor Ickes. We lost him way too soon in fifth grade and faced a tragedy we never expected. We had to learn how to cope and we grew despite this. We miss him greatly and I know he is looking down upon us today and smiling. This sad change has shaped a lot of our futures and we have been able to bloom into amazing people. Confucius said, only the wisest and stupidest of people never change. I'm proud to say that we are not a part of that group, even though we haven't exactly had the choice, and it was thrown upon us. 
Change is inevitable, but it all matters in how you conquer it. I am pleased to announce Haley Miller as our next speaker. <laughs> Thank you, Aubrey. As we reflect on our years together, look at how far we've come. The person you are today is not who you were when we began school. But how did that come to be? Change. Our school years have undoubtedly involved changes. Change is inevitable, but while that might sound frightening, change is not necessarily negative. In fact, the changes we see in nature should reassure us that change is often a positive thing. Although it was still snowing in April, for instance, we knew that the warmer weather would eventually arrive. And here we are, with summer in our presence. With our graduation comes a new season. Though our lives may feel like snow in April and be quite miserable at times, the warm sun will eventually shine. Have you ever heard of the logical pines of the Rocky Mountains? Their seeds are encased in a protective pine cone. Unlike other trees, their seeds are only released when the pine cones are exposed to extremely high temperatures, like that of a wildfire. Although a circumstance or change in your life might seem unbearable, your full potential may not be released if it were not for walking through that fire. The perspective you have on a situation can determine your ability to grow and thrive from it. Just as a wildfire can allow for new growth, you too can undergo a new personal growth. Graduating high school invokes the commencement of a new season. Change does and will occur. You will gain new experiences, acquire new knowledge, and take on new responsibilities. Yes, these changes may be difficult and challenging to withstand, but you've had to navigate and overcome challenges throughout your life. And yet, here you stand today, having made it through to the other side of each and every one. Now we must appreciate the storms that life throws at us. Scripture tells us, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. What good can you find from your circumstantial change? How can you grow to better yourself and find your true potential? As we get ready to leave this building, I want to leave you with the question. What can you take from the closing of this season to cultivate a brighter future season of personal growth? I look forward to seeing how you use your season of change, and I truly wish you all the best. Thank you. Dr. Mark Kudlawick, Superintendent of the Chestnut Ridge School District, would make, like to make a few remarks. Good evening. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to all graduates, parents, grandparents, teachers, board members, and other friends or relatives present tonight. Graduates, you made it, and I'm really sure there are some parents in a crowd breathing a massive sigh of relief because you have made it. But in all seriousness, there are people here tonight that are so proud of you, especially myself as your superintendent of schools. Today is a monumental day for you, not because you're graduating, you're closing one chapter in a book called Life. In your next chapter, some of you will be attending college, trade schools, and junior colleges, and some of you will be going straight to the workforce. As a school leader, I view myself as the epitome of a lifelong learner. I constantly view new technology, read current articles and books, and speak at conferences and webinars on safety, school safety, teamwork, and leadership. In my eyes, the last go hand in hand. Many of you sitting here today will be advancing career pathway. Whichever pathway you choose, you will face continued growth. Lifelong learning opportunities and ability to be part of a team. In life, you'd be faced with challenges every day. When faced with a challenge, you have two options. You can let that challenge encompass your life and worry sick about it, or you can view the challenge as an opportunity to learn and grow. In my life, I feel the most versatile way I've ever learned anything is through reading and then trying to perform what I've read. You don't always have a mentor explain or show you how to do something, but you can always research using the internet or by reading a book. I have a couple of great books I keep close in my professional library. 
helps me be a lifelong learner. Some of the books are Good to Great by Jim Collins, Who Moved My Cheese by Spencer Johnson, The Total Money Makeover by Dane Ramsey, and Personal and Authentic by Thomas Murray. Of all these books, one of my favorites is Good to Great. It teaches you that good isn't good enough and good is the enemy of great. If you're having eye surgery, do you want a good surgeon? I have a personal friend who's an ophthalmologist, Dr. Joe Bettervania. He's in Connecticut, that's where he practices out of. And I asked him one time, I said, Joe, when they call you in to do a surgery, usually to the hospital for emergency surgery, I said, and he says, Mark, I charge $20,000 just to show up. I said, wow, that's a lot of money, Joe. He says, you want a good surgeon? You want a great surgeon working on your eye? I said, well, I guess I want a great surgeon. So remember, good is the enemy of great. As I stand in front of you tonight, I stand not only as your superintendent, but as a multifaceted man. One of my things I love to do is sing. I also love to cook and eat the dishes I make. I don't obtain the stature by eating salads. In all seriousness, between the internet, YouTube, and my love of cookbooks, I can make some delicious meals. My wife loves that I love to cook because she likes to do the dishes. See, we're back to that teamwork thing. This evening, I want to provide you a couple of thoughts in life. First, people aren't always lovely and friendly, and not everyone has the same morals and values that you may have. Don't compromise your morals or values or importance for anything or anything or anyone. Secondly, you and only you are accountable for your actions. If you make a mistake, the best thing you can do is admit to your supervisor that you made a mistake. I'll bet that they will forgive you and have greater respect for you in the long run. Third, whatever you do in life, have fun doing it. If you're lucky enough to love your job, you will never feel that you've worked a day in your life. And lastly, only date a person you would consider to marry. My wife and I have been together going on 22 years. I thank every God for every day for helping me find my best friend. Closing, while you continue to write your book of life, make sure you keep in contact with the ones you love. Call your parents often because they want to know how you're doing. I wish you all the best in life and what life has to offer you, class of 22. This is your book of lifelong learning that you'll be writing. I know it's going to be a bestseller. God bless you all. Thank you, Dr. Tlawick. Mr. William Pataki, president of the Chestnut Ridge School Board, would like to make a few remarks. Good evening. I wish to recognize the parents, the guardians, relatives, coaches, pastors, graduates so along with the staff, administration, and my peers on the Board of Education. And now I'd like to take a few minutes to address the graduating class of 2022. Sometime around 12 or 13 years ago, or many of you were five or six years old, and I know that seems so long ago, but to your mom and dad, your relatives, it probably seems just like yesterday, you started out on this journey. Your parents and relatives were snapping pictures. You were excited to go to school. You met new kids your age. Some really cool. Some of those became your friends. Some of them became your very best friends. You probably had no idea at that time of the journey you were beginning. You've had memories that you've made along the way. Some good, some bad. Some that you will treasure for a lifetime. Some things have changed, and some things have remained the same. Your parents and relatives are still out there snapping pictures of you and wishing you well. But you are here today, now grown up, physically, intellectually, and educationally. This evening, your classmate spoke about change, and it is a major change in your life today. It's your high school graduation. It's a milestone in your life. It's a time of celebration. It's a time of reflection. First off, I would urge you to take in the moment and savor it. Take a good, long look at all your classmates tonight before you depart. Because as you leave the stadium, some of your classmates you'll never see again. As you go forth to see
seek out your visions and dreams. At Chestnut Ridge, you receive an educational foundation and you develop fundamental life skills. Maybe perhaps more importantly, you learn how to learn and you learn how to think for yourself. And in doing so, you prepare yourself for the world and challenges that lie ahead. Every single one of you are special in your own way, and every single one of you are capable of doing great things. But there's one characteristic I want to stress to help ensure your success. Strive to be a lifelong learner. Use every resource that you can to gain knowledge, be it college, trade school, books, the internet, friends, or family. You know, sometimes your family are the best uh, resource because they don't want you to make the same mistakes that they did. I don't claim to be the sharpest knife in the drawer, but one thing I will guarantee you, no matter what you want to do in life, no matter what your dream or goal is, your success will be directly proportional to how great you become a subject matter expert in your field of endeavor. Because knowledge is indeed power. With the exception of your faith in yourself, your faith in your creator, it's probably the ultimate power. I'll leave you with one more thought. Your life's journey will probably not always be easy. We always get caught up in what's known as the jungle of life now and then. But remember that you're a chestnut rich lion. You will always be a lion. And lions were made to rule the jungle. Class of 2022, I wish you all the best that life has to offer. May the good Lord bless you and keep you in all your endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pataki. The Dr. James Barefoot Community Service Award will be presented next by Mr. William S. Pataki. time is my distinct honor to present the Barefoot Community Service Award. This is the only award given by the school board at the graduation ceremony. It is given in honor of the late Dr. James Barefoot, who served for many years on the school board. It is presented to a senior student who has done the most to aid the community. The honoree this year has volunteered many hours with the Emmer Fire Company, Wishful Star Stables, and various other community service activities. This year's recipient is Zoe Dunlap. Thank you, Mr. Pataki. And now, Mr. Eric Zesnanski, principal of the Chestnut Ridge Senior High School, will recommend the class of 2022 for their diplomas. <clears throat> Friends, relatives, students, faculty, school board members, and Dr. Kolowik, I checked the records and found that these members of the class of 2022 have successfully completed all requirements set forth by the Pennsylvania Department of Education and the Chestnut Ridge Board of School Directors. I therefore declare the class of 2022 eligible for graduation.
Jonah Hilligans.
Madeline Marie Garman. Dylan Michael Gibner, honors. Isabella Marie Giovanelli. Mason Renee Gomez Campos. Zane Adler Rafe. Vincent Hafer. Blake Anthony Eugene Hanna. Isaac William Blaine Harbaugh. Justin Joseph Harris. B. Hin Hoang. Madison Taylor Hughes, high honors. <laughs> Caitlin Michelle Ickes, National Honor Society, high honors. <laughs> Leah Beth Ickes. Jalen Elizabeth Jazeski, honors. Isaac Christopher Kaufman. Olivia Grace Keller. Delana Marie Kissel, National Art Society, High Honors. Madison Paige Nisley, Honors. Elizabeth Grace Leister, National Honor Society, High Honors. <laughs> Natalie Lane Linder. Sarah Virgie Lynn, National Honor Society, High Honors. Aiden Eli Little, high honors. Angel Lee Miller. Cody John Miller. Connor Clark Miller.
Cordell Ryland Miller. Evelyn Miller, honors. Caden Evan Miller. Kane Michael Miller Aiken. Jordan Eugene Mock. Olivia Jasmine Mock. Logan Robert Montz. Daniel Cloyd Moore, high honors. Luke Terry Moore. Alexis Paige Mallory, high honors. Jack Gregory Moyer, honors. Justin Matthew Myers. Samuel Robert Neff, honors. Zachary Robert Fonmiller. Aiden Charles Pittman, high honors. <laughs> Quentin Alexander Riggleman. Christopher Thomas Sauter. Aiden Charles Skyler. <laughs> Haley Dawn Cease. <laughs> Courtney Lynn Short. Kylie Ann Stippler. <laughs> Emmy Lee Stiles, high honor.
Olivia Grace Wirtz. Trevor Joshua Wyans. Essence Ray Weisel, National Honor Society, High Honor. Matthew Jordan Weissong, National Honor Society, High Honors. Caitlin Ann Herman, National Honor Society, High Honor. Rihanna Melissa Dunn, National Honor Society, High Honors. Trinity Ray Foppel, High Honors. Hetherington, National Honor Society, High Honors. <laughs> Jonah Schuyler Hilligas, National Honor Society, High Honors. Ian Charles Chidley Milius, National Honor Society, High Honors. <laughs> Haley Ray Miller, National Honor Society, High Honors. As a prelude to my last official act with this group of students, I would like to express my gratitude to each individual who made the class of 2022 an outstanding one. Now, by the power vested in me by the Chester Ridge School Board of Directors and the Pennsylvania Department of Education, I declare you graduates of Chestnut Ridge. Please rise for the alma mater. Gentlemen, remove your caps.
excited to stand here in front of my fellow classmates on the day we've been waiting for. I'd like to start off by thanking everyone who has helped us get here today. Our teachers, family, and friends. When I decided to run for class president, I knew a speech was involved. But at the time, I was not worried. Now I'm standing here, slightly freaking out inside. I thought for a long time about what I'd say in this speech, but writing it has probably been the hardest thing I've done in high school. How am I supposed to say goodbye to the people I've spent 13 years of my life with? How am I supposed to thank the people who helped us get here? I procrastinated writing this speech because when I began writing it, everything I thought I wanted to say did not seem good enough. I could not fit everything I wanted to say about the years we've spent together in a two minute speech. It's difficult to imagine that after all those years we've spent together, that this day is finally here. During those years, we've gone on field trips, cheered each other on during sporting events, participated in pep rallies, gone to homecomings and proms. And maybe more importantly than any of these special events, we've laughed together, worked on projects together, shared tears of joy and of sorrow with each other every day as we shared our lives together. As freshmen, we thought these last four years would be the longest of our lives, but it seems as though we blinked and it's over. I remember the day we walked into high school and I couldn't believe we were starting this final chapter. While our last four years of high school may not have been what we imagined it to be, as we experienced a pandemic that impacted our ability to be together, we are finally here on the most important day of high school, the day we graduated. Today is the day we begin to experience lives we will not all share with each other. We are going to different colleges, trade schools, and straight into jobs. I couldn't be prouder of everyone sitting in front of me and everything you've accomplished. Wherever life takes us, I'm glad this is the class I graduated with. I thanked everyone who's helped us reach this point, but my most important thank you is to all my classmates. Thank you for helping me become the person I am today. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for the memories I'm sure we'll all cherish forever. Today we walked across this field, received our diplomas, and now our lives begin. I cannot wait to see what we all accomplish. Thank you.